Okay, what you should have now is have marked out these two long sides of your barrel top box. And if we look closely here, we can see that we've marked out where to cut and we've marked on the end and we've marked on the side of the waist. Now the next step is to cut out here the parts for our finger joint. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a coping saw here and we're going to put a piece of um, plywood into the vise and we're going to start to cut these out. Now if we look here I'm going to just start cutting. I'm using my fingernail there and I'm just cutting down using the whole length of the blade Then I'm going to go to the next end and again put my finger on the line, just try and cut on the inside of the line. And you can see I'm using the whole length of the blade there. Now I've made a cut down there and a cut down there. The next stage is to just cut a triangular section out of there. Then I can put the blade in as low as I can. Now we can cut across for this, but we might find it easier. It just, it's always easier to make a cut straight down, so horizontal. And we can make this cut so we can see there that we've cut out most of that. Now all we've got to do is take this piece out. And putting it now in now we've made that cut there as you can see and that's pretty close but we've just got a little bit of waste there now we the easiest way to do this being very careful not to split the back of the plywood is taking a small file And then just finishing off with a bit of abrasive paper. And you can see there that we, we cut on the inside of the line. We cut down and just left a small amount of waste. And then we used a, a small file, very carefully not splitting the back, to just clean it up so it absolutely fits. And if we try our joint in there, we can see we've got a little bit more work to do once we've, we've cut these and fit them, fit them together using the ends, but that's how to use a coping saw to cut out our finger joints.